These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. Today, Iraq has announced that they now have digital control over the flow of their money, so it is possible, very, very possible, they can make it happen in this short of time frame. It is well within the window we have been expecting. All right, Frank 26, uh, Firefly, the CBI governor, is on News Station 1 saying the CBI is determined to stabilize the exchange rate and the next phase is coming. They're calling it the second stage phase. Frank says the 20 or the second stage phase of the monetary reform, in my opinion, is to reveal a new exchange rate and your new small category note to you as Iraqi citizens. Firefly says it's all the talk in the streets. We are expecting that soon. Pimpy says we know the budget has been put forward and they're supposed to be voting on it. I made a suggestion that it appeared they might make another exchange rate change before the budget is released 100%. I said once the budget has been voted on, then we're stuck with the exchange rate at least for a year until they want to amend the budget, which is a pain in the butt to do. Until that budget law has been passed, keep your fingers crossed. Mark Z via PDK the banking side is still extremely excited about the late afternoon to overnight tonight for things to move forward and money to be released. I'm watching it very closely. I believe this is the closest we have ever been. Nader from the Mideast says, if you talk about the private sector, look at it a year ago and look at it now. It's gone 60 to 70% better. And Pimpy says, I can tell you when I'm speaking to people, they're confusing what the exchange rates are. There are different types of exchange rates. One is the official rate, which is 1,300 dinars for every dollar. The other one is the market rate, which is 1,460 dinars for every dollar. The market rate, which is like the black market rate, is what people are willing to pay for the U.S. dollar. They're willing to exchange 1,460 dinars for every dollar. In other words, they will pay you more to get their hands on the U.S. dollar, and this is causing a problem. You're looking at a 160 dinar difference between the two rates, which is equivalent to 11 cents. That doesn't sound like much, but it adds up quickly. If you had $1 million and you want to go buy the Iraqi dinar on the black market at 1460 dinars, you would get 1,460,000,000 dinars. You would take it into the bank, sell it to them for 1,300 dinars for every $1, and you would make a profit of 160 million dinars, $109,594. Of course, it's illegal to do that, but there are people out there who do it for you. All right, Paul Lett says Baghdad is finally in the driver's seat. Let's hope the coordinating framework turns out to be good, guys. We are at a time nobody truly knows who is good or bad for the world in this world. My biggest question is, will al-Maliki turn out to be good, bad, or flipped? If I knew the answer, I would have a better understanding of where the RI process currently lies. All right, Hennig, article quote, revival of the hanging gardens in Iraq. The Central Bank of Iraq is witnessing in the design of its new building, Hanging Gardens, that brings to mind one of the seven historical wonders of the world. The implementation of the first listed Hanging Gardens in Iraq, which will coordinate, or which, I'm sorry, will decorate the roof of the base of the new Central Bank building. These cats are positioning themselves for a new renaissance. All right, Samson article quote, the foreign minister reveals the details of Washington's visit. There are no American conditions and the currency will soon stabilize. Quote, imminent stabilization of the exchange rate, unquote. Frank 26 says the new keyword currency reform. You went through the monetary reform. You're going through the economic reform. The Iraqi citizens are going through the currency reform. Notice I said you are going through the economic reform. The fact that you purchased Iraqi dinar is going to help their economy. But the citizens of Iraq will have purchasing power through a new mechanism in second stage that will allow them to have a new exchange rate when the dinar starts to float. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK, I'm still hearing phenomenal stuff from the banking side. Iraq is still saying that their budget goes next week. My understanding is that the budget gets introduced to Parliament, the HCL will be done, so we know we are in a short window for Iraq to make a move. <laughs>